Welcome Pisces. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful likes, shares and support Pisces. So Pisces, this is the first week of November. The week begins from um, the 30th until the 6th of December. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. The energy of the wishing well is here. And a lot of you are dealing with a, um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn woman. I see a new start is going to come for this woman. I see this woman is going to be financial stable. And this is going to be bringing back happiness and joy in your family. And this is going to be good. Then I see the energy of some sort of information is going to be coming in. So some of you could be wanting a new start with the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. And I see this new start could be coming in for you. I see um, money is going to be coming back in your relationship. Um, I see this person, new doors of opportunity is going to be opening up for this person. They could be opening up for you, Pisces, um, because they're governing um, the reading. They are um, they're helping you. So I see multiple opportunities uh, could be coming up for you, Pisces, because of this person. I see um, some sort of a family um, situation where people were working against your family is going to be resolved. Oh my God, Pisces. OMG, Pisces. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Congratulations, Pisces. Three times ten. OMG. Wow, Pisces. Wow, wow. Then we see some sort of information is coming in for you, Pisces, that is going to be giving you a lot of more new offers and uh, um, creative ability is going to be coming up. A lot of you, Pisces, are going to be receiving some sort of a new start that is going to be bringing you and your family a lot of financial stability, and this is going to be good. Some sort of information is coming in. And uh, this information is going to be extra money coming in um, for you, Pisces. And I see whoever that was lying and creating issues. I see truths is coming out. And I see your family is going to be balanced out. And a whole lot of money is going to be coming in for you, Pisces. Now, whoever this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is, could be giving you, Pisces, a new start. You and your family financially, okay? And this is going to be good. Um, then whatever the information is and was, uh, multiple opportunities is going to be coming in for you, Pisces. And the lies and deceptiveness is going to be over. Some of you Pisces women or some of you Pisces is going to be finding out that you have an enemy. Okay. But I see it is good because you have a wishing well. And the wishing well is showing up um, that you can make a wish. You can speak to your spirit guides and guided angel and make a wish, okay? So you have 48, 41, and the fox. So the fox, some of you could be finding out that there's someone on the work floor, um, whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring, the energy of the fox is here and you're going to be realizing and finding out the truth of what is going on. Pisces, this is going to be a profound week. Um, Whatever that was going on in your family, whatever um, <laughs> secrets that was kept is going to be coming out. But I see you Pisces are working on your financial stability. Unexpected money is going to be coming in. So be aware of this. A lot of you needs to pay attention um, to a, um, a person that is coming in your life. It could be on the work floor. This person is definitely on the work floor. And if someone, if a woman is on the work floor working against you, you can ask the wishing well to remove this person out of uh, your environment. And that is going to be good. So let's look at what is happening, what is transpiring. We see um, a new start is coming up. Whatever is happening and transpiring for you, Pisces, a new start is going to be coming up. Um, and I see some of you, Pisces, need to have rest. Um, in this week, a new start is going to be coming up. So you need to have some sort of a rest because I see new work. And if you were looking for extra work, freelances and that sort of a thing, it's definitely, definitely going to be coming up. 
The Four of Pentacles is also here, so be aware of that financial still. Um, a lot of you are dealing with a um a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. I see some sort of an information is coming in. This person is really a good friend. This person means you good. This person is in your life in order to help you um to exhilarate and in, in a good, good way. So whoever it is, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn woman is an older woman. And um, this woman is going to give some of you a new start and is going to be helping you to create some sort of a new possibility in your world. The energy of the world is in uh, the um, a cycle is over. Um, some of you, Pisces is going to be receiving some sort of a news that a cycle is over and a new cycle is going to be uh, beginning. You stand strong. So you have three times 10, two times four. Uh, three times four. Oh my God, Pisces, what's going on? <laughs> wow, Pisces. 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 This is absolutely wonderful, Pisces. Um, This is an absolute, absolute wonderful energy again you're dealing with the queen um of pentacles whoever this person is is definitely going to give you pisces some sort of a long-term stability you could be moving in with this person and this person is going to be helping you to exhilarate this person is a uh, bringing in um stability for you pisces so a lot of you pisces could be connecting with a taurus Virgo, or a capricorn person I see that balance come in with the family, whatever the issue, the situation is and was. Balance is here for the family, which is a very, very positive note, um, an extremely positive note. Um, some of you could be dealing with a Virgo, um, a Virgo person that you're married to. Um, the energy of uh, the emperor is here. So this is what I was saying. Some of you, this woman could be a boss and this woman is going to be opening up doors of, of, of opportunities. But some of you could be also dealing with a Virgo, uh, married to a Virgo or in a relationship with a Virgo. And this person is going to be helping you in order to bring that balance in your life. The nine of pentacles, the ten of pentacles, they're going to be finding out that there was some deceptive play with a whole lot of money, Pisces. Truths are going to be coming out. Uh, and I see they're going to refine out the truth about a whole lot of money. So, Pisces, it could be you finding out the truth about a whole lot of money. And uh, with a um, a woman and what has transpired. I see the magician. This is what I said to you guys. Uh, this lady, this Taurus Virgo Capricorn lady... Um, is going to be opening up some sort of a doors of opportunities uh, for you guys that is going to be creating a lot of positivity in your world. So whoever this Capricorn or Virgo woman is that is coming in your life or that is in your life uh, is going to be helping um, you um, um, Pisces in order to make your wish. This is two wish cards, so it's a very, very lucky week for you, Pisces. Whatever is happening and transpiring, especially the Pisces that was fighting to deal with some sort of an issue, some sort of a problem that was going on. I see for you, Pisces, you're going to be receiving some sort of a luck. A lucky break is going to be coming up, and a, tall, a, a Capricorn or a Virgo person is going to be helping some of you, Pisces, to exhilarate um, that luck. Ooh, so... Wow, um, my guides are here. All right, so some sort of a news fell out on the floor for you, Pisces. Yep, I see multiple opportunities is going to be coming in. I see they're going to be finding out about the death of a friend. I see they found out um, that there was some sort of a false play in a corporation institution. They have found out that um, there was some sort of a false play. Here it is. Um, so this is a government institution and they find out that someone in this government institution had done something wrong. And I see a new offer is going to be coming in for you, Pisces. So it could be some sort of a situation where um, some sort of a 
uh, um, someone in the government organization was corrupt and they realized that. Then 37, um, some sort of a message is going to be coming in and uh, this is going to end some sort of a past situation and open up multiple doors of opportunities for you. So that is good. And they are showing up uh, the friend, whoever this friend is, uh, um, in another city, in another place. They found out that this friend in another city, in another place, uh, have created some sort of a theft. This is uh, Falsita, the fox, uh, have created some sort of a problem, but it is going to be resolved. So this is a really, really wonderful um, news that is going to be coming up and it's going to be transpiring. So let's go in your reading, Pisces. So we see some sort of a new start is going to be coming in with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, some sort of a news is going to be coming in on Monday. And I see that that is going to be giving you some sort of an inner peace. Long-term stability is going to be here. So if you're in a relationship with a Capricorn person, it's showing up as a Capricorn person both ways. This person is going to be helping you to get out of some sort of a problem that was going on and it's going to be rebalancing you and bringing you back up to balance. And this is going to be good. So a lot of you, whoever this Capricorn is, is a what is a, yeah, is a woman, um, 45 years and older is going to be bringing back some sort of a stability. Now, if you notice in the beginning of the week, especially on Monday, there is where the three fours are. And at the end of the week, Friday, um, Saturday and Sunday is where the tens are. So don't forget this week is going to be a perform lucky week for you. Um, Pisces, take it, run with it because this is going to be creating some sort of a positive alignment of energy positive situation with a family. You're going to be balancing out um, issues with a family. Truths are coming out and you're going to be trying to resolve this. That has to do with a whole lot of money. And I see money is going to be um, coming in and some of you Pisces are going to be finding out that this young person or this person has not been very honest. Who is this person? Um, we're going to be trying to find out who is this person. Um, but, um, this person could be coming up as someone from a di from different, different zodiac. So that's why it only shows up the fox, but they're not showing who is the fox. They're just showing that uh, someone, some of you were dealing with is the fox. And if you notice, there is no person because this 10 of pentacles is going to be, um, um, financial stability for the family. As we look at Tuesday, air sign information is going to be coming out. Long-term stability. I see you and friends are reconnecting. Financial balance is going to be there for you. And I see the world, the energy of the world um, where a cycle is complete and a new cycle is going to be beginning, but in a very positive way. So I see long-term um, friendship is going to be there for you. And I see the four of pentacles, some sort of a situation is going to be over that you and the tall uh, Capricorn was going through. And that is going to be over. And that then, because that issue or situation, you're going to be receiving some message Monday, Tuesday, that a situation is now over and long-term financial stability is going to be coming in for you and a Capricorn. Once you are um, in a relationship with a Capricorn or you live with a Capricorn, um, I see you're going to be having long-term stability with this Capricorn. If you notice, all the fours are upright, so they're in the good form. On Wednesday and the crowning of your week, you're dealing with a Capricorn woman. And I see for some of you, this is your boss. And I see that there was some sort of uh, um, um, information that was um, given and expressed um, about some of you. And I see truths is going to be coming out and people are going to be finding out what exactly has transpired. Then I see um, you're dealing with um, a situation with a house or your business. This is going to be good. You're going to be balancing out because I see friends are going to be coming in and helping you out of this situation. And this is going to be positive. So no need to worry. On Thursday, you're going to be receiving um, 
as, as if a bank or a financial institution or some sort of a creative endeavor, a lot of multiple work, a lot of business is going to be coming in for you guys. I see a circle, a cycle is going to be over, um, where you were dealing with some sort of an issue with people in power. This is going to be resolved and balance is going to be returned in your world. And this is positive. Then I see the energy of the family on Mon on Friday. There is some sort of a, um, issues, but you're going to be bringing that uh, in balance and this is going to be good. I see truths is going to be coming out about a whole lot of money, um, with you Pisces. And I see some of you Pisces in power uh, is going to be dealing with people in power. And it's as if uh, they're going to be realizing about a whole lot of money, but what you should have received. You did not receive this. Uh, and I see truths is coming out and that money is going to be return to you Pisces because they found out people in power have found out that you did not receive the money so a wonderful alignment of energy is coming up this week is about balancing out and it says if you Pisces are going to be finding out what has happened and transpire so we see the energy of the um of the four of pentacle financial stability is going to come in because it could be your boss that is a Capricorn person is going to be returning some sort of a financial stability for you and um, giving you a strong stability to stand on. A cycle is over with some of you were dealing with multiple issues with people in power. And that cycle is going to be over. I see reconnection with friends, bonding with friends. I see a lot of you are going to be needing some sort of a rest. And if you weren't well, and if there was issue between you and a Capricorn, I see that this is going to be balanced out. I see you're trying to balance out your family financial situation, and it's going to be good. And uh, at the outcomes, the energy of the Ten of Pentacles is here. So some of you, if you were looking for a house or buying a house or want to buy a new house, it is going to be a yes, okay? So we see some of you, maybe your partner was in the sick and was, was in the hospital. Um, they're going to be coming out. Um, I see a situation with friends. You have, you're going to be having long, long term friendship. Uh, um, and long-term financial stability is going to be coming in for you. Um, that is going to be good. And you're going to be friends um, with this person for a very, very long time. Whoever this person is, you're going to be realizing that this person have your back, whatever is transpiring. I hand to a cycle is coming in with some sort of a problems with you and your family, with people in power. And this is uh, this is now over because people um, in power, uh, um, some of these people have lied and I see that um, this Capricorn woman stood up uh, and bring a balance to some sort of a deceptive play that was transpiring and see the truth of what was happening and spoke up about what was happening and that um, people are going to be finding out the truth on Saturday about a whole lot of money. Um, so what is this money going to be returning the wishing well or here? So whenever the wishing well is here, is that um, you're hoping, and this is what you should do, um, Pisces, is uh, ask the wishing well to return the money that was stolen from you and your family. So here we go. So universal angels and guides, angels of abundance and love, please come in and uh, um, return the money to the Pisces that uh, was stolen from the Pisces if the money was meant for them, okay? Only if the money was meant for them, return the money um, to the Pisces. I see some of you Pisces might have to pay out a whole lot of money or to return some money because they're going to be finding out that some of you Pisces had uh, um, taken money on the false pretend uh, and um, um, some of you Pisces have to return this money, okay? Because if you notice, it's Pisces um, who have took money on the false pretend. Because here, people in power is finding out that the money was not for you, Pisces. And you have took the money on the false pretend. And I see um, that that group of Pisces have to return a whole lot of money because they realize what has transpired. Then people in power is going to be finding out that the wrong person got the money and they're going to be returning the money. So Pisces, who were supposed to get a big payout, you didn't get that big payout. Um, 
remember to go check in so that they you and and here's the wishing well pisces call upon the universal angels and ask universal angels in order to return um this money to you um because uh, you know it, it was it was a deceptive thing so um some of you pisces you have to pay back some money Okay, and some of you Pisces, money was supposed to come in for you and it didn't came in. And now here you have two wishing well. So make your wishes, Pisces, whether big or small, make your wishes in the suite because when the wishing well comes in twice, the energy of the well came in, Pisces. So make your wish. It's going to be a powerful week. It's going to be a very, very lucky week. Make your wish and... Uh, choose for what it is so i see a lot of you is as if this taurus virgo capricorn person it is a capricorn person um that came in and is going to be helping you to resolve some sort of an issue and to let you get out of some sort of a problem that was happening and transpiring and this is going to be very very wonderful and positive because this um capricorn is going to be bringing you um, wealth and assets, financial stability, wealth and assets to bring you forward. I do love you guys. Please like and share these videos. Sorry guys, I'm not going to be giving the videos a name because sometimes there is more information that is transpiring that you should know of. A lot of you are going to be having some sort of an asset. So it's going to be joint assets. So go back and look at your full moon reading because I did see something with a Capricorn and helping you guys um, in your second house to um, bring you um, assets, um, business, money. And there you can see it coming up in the first week. So go and check out your um, uh, monthly readings to see what was happening in the first week and check out your full moon readings to see where the Capricorns fell in your full moon extended. You can only see these readings if you are a joined member um and this is why i say to a lot of you it is for 4.99 or 9.99 per month you get to see all of these readings and see get to see all who are in your houses affecting you in your houses okay so be aware of that i gotta go please like and share these videos thumbs up namaste until next time